Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst lush green mountains, there lived a wise Zen master renowned for his profound teachings and compassionate heart. Every day, people from far and wide would seek his guidance, hoping to find solace and wisdom in his words. One day, a young boy from the village approached the Zen master with a troubled heart. His eyes were filled with sadness, and his shoulders sagged under the weight of his worries. He sat before the master, unable to find the words to express his inner turmoil. The Zen master, with his keen perception, looked at the boy and smiled gently. What troubles you, young one? He asked in a voice as soothing as a gentle breeze. The boy hesitated for a moment before pouring out his heart. Master, he began, I feel lost and hopeless. No matter how hard I try, it seems like nothing ever goes right for me. I see others around me succeeding and finding happiness, but I can't seem to find my own path. Why is life so unfair? The Zen master listened intently to the boy's words, his heart going out to him. He knew that the boy needed more than just comforting words. He needed a lesson that would touch the depths of his soul. Life is like a river, young one. The Zen master began, his voice steady and calm. Sometimes, it flows smoothly, and other times, it rages with ferocity. But no matter how tumultuous the waters may seem, remember this. If you think good, good will come. The boy looked at the master puzzled by his words. But how can I think good when everything around me seems to be falling apart? He asked, his voice tinged with frustration. The Zen master placed a reassuring hand on the boy's shoulder. Thinking good does not mean ignoring the challenges you face or pretending that everything is perfect, he explained. It means facing each obstacle with courage and resilience, knowing that every setback is an opportunity for growth. With each word, the boy felt a glimmer of hope igniting within him. He realized that perhaps he had been looking at life from the wrong perspective all along. Tell me, young one, the Zen master continued, what do you see when you look at a field of flowers? The boy thought for a moment before answering. I see beauty and serenity, he replied. The Zen master nodded, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. Indeed. But what many people overlook is the journey each flower takes to bloom. Beneath the surface, they endure storms, harsh winds, and scorching sun. Yet, despite it all, they emerge vibrant and resilient, spreading joy to all who behold them. As the master spoke, the boy's heart filled with understanding. He realized that like the flowers, he too had the power to overcome life's challenges and emerged stronger than before. From that day onward, the boy embraced the wisdom of the Zen master, facing each day with renewed optimism and courage, and true to the master's teachings, as he began to think good, good indeed started to come his way. The story of the wise Zen master and the young boy spread throughout the village, touching the hearts of all who heard it. And in the years that followed, Whenever someone faced hardships or struggles, they would remember the simple yet powerful lesson. If you think good, good will come. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.